commute this morning. That's especially true for bridges and overpasses where there have been issues. I-75 was shut down at the Clays Ferry Bridge at one point. And that's where WKYT's Janet Kim is live this morning with an update on how traffic is moving now. Major improvements uh, since that situation a few hours ago. Janet, good morning. Good morning, Bill. Absolutely. Traffic is up and moving again here on Interstate 75. As you can see, overnight semis had been stuck as they waited for the road to reopen. But it was certainly busy in the overnight hours. Just after 2 this morning, a Wayne County ambulance transporting a patient to St. Joseph's East Hospital hit a patch of ice while heading northbound prior to the bridge. No one was injured and Lexington EMS transported that patient. But from there, more and more accidents reported, at least one in Madison County and two more in Fayette County. My car, I didn't even touch the brakes or nothing. I was going lower than the speed limit and uh, it just started spinning everywhere and just ran right into the wall. And to make matters worse, a salt truck that came to help salted the southbound bridge, but then a piece of equipment broke off of it, but fortunately, even with all of these problems, we're told no one was seriously injured in any of these accidents. And as you can see, the interstate is back open in time for morning commuters, except for people like Bill Bryant, who had to get in super early this morning. For now, live in Lexington, Janet Campbell, KYT 27 News First. All right, Jenny, thank you. Need to move on back there for safety this morning. Certainly, WKYT's officer Don is keeping track of what the road conditions are at the moment. We will check with him in just a couple of minutes.